Hi everybody, it's uh, Mark Carrier speaking with you today. Uh, I'd like to speak with you about the direct marketing formula and basically covering the basics. You know, uh, one hears so much these days on social media sites, blogs, uh, posted articles, e-books and white papers about the fantastic outcomes businesses can achieve using online media or other offline sources to make sales or generate leads. Uh, there's no question businesses of all sizes, particularly small to medium businesses, are moving to online mediums to drive inbound response from existing and uh, new prospective customers. The use of online mediums for business to extend their rates at reduced cost continues to grow and grow, and judging by the ever-increasing growth of the online share of the annual marketing spends, it's just amazing how it's been growing. You'll even hear some thought leaders in the online community suggest that more traditional forms of direct marketing like direct mail and telemarketing are dead and long since buried. You know, uh, when I hear this kind of talk, it reminds me about what I used to hear so many years ago when PCs uh, started to come on the scene. We're moving to a paperless society. You know, of course, uh, the case of PCs rendering paper redundant in our society seems to have been uh, called a little early. Uh, you know, there are many direct marketing mediums or tactics, both online and more traditional, that any business can uh, use to get their uh, message to the right people. You know, in terms of online mediums, uh, search and SEO, uh, email marketing, social media, display ads, uh, daily deal sites, uh, offline mediums, uh, you know, old traditional things like uh, direct mail, telemarketing, there's uh, mobile, SMS text, Right now, uh, letterbox drops, print, uh, freestanding inserts in newspapers or magazines, uh, direct response TV, and direct response radio. I'm sure that some of you, uh, you know, having uh, read the list above, might say, "Hey, why didn't you include just insert here?" or "Why did you include that one?" Uh, look, the point is, regardless of uh, whichever medium or tactic you use, whether you think it's the next best thing or that it's dead and buried, a successful direct marketing campaign needs to cover these basic fundamentals. Targeted. A successful campaign is targeted to those likely suspects that most closely match your most profitable lifetime value customer segments. Those suspects that have a higher propensity to buy what you're offering. Engaging. The message and communication device needs to be interesting, relevant and timely to get your prospects attention. You have to have desirable offers. The offer needs to provide consumers with a strong value proposition, solve one of their problems or entice them with something they really want. Call to action. A strong call to action that creates urgency and allows customers to use whatever means of commuting with you that they are more comfortable with to respond to your offer. Measurable. You need to be able to easily track and measure any element of a direct marketing campaign. Track everything to identify any aspect of the campaign you might be able to improve. Test different mediums, lists, copy, creative executions, offers, and calls to action. Test, test, test. Don't just stick with one type of direct marketing campaign because that's what we've always done and it still works. Over time, most campaigns reach their use by day. Always look for other opportunities and test them to see if they are more cost effective than what you've become used to doing. Cost effectiveness. At the end of the day, it's all about making profit, isn't it? So, your programs have to be cost effective. To sum up in simple terms, get the right message to the right people at the right time at the right cost. Remember these simple principles and apply them and you should be do fine. One, direct marketing is a marathon, not a sprint. Take the time to get the strategy right before you move forward. Two, direct marketing fundamental principles apply to all mediums, regardless of which medium you use, be it offline or online. Three, target the most likely buyers. Do the research first before you select any list or pull the trigger. Four, use interesting creative executions. Make it fun and interesting to people. Five, ensure your offers have a strong value proposition and a strong call to action. 
Be open for business and give customers every opportunity to buy from you. What I mean by that is give them phone numbers or email addresses or some way that they can reach you and be open when they want to do business, not just when you want to do business. Set up a comprehensive budget that captures true costs and realistic revenue projections. Set up a comprehensive campaign report and track everything. And last, take on board your performance learnings to find the sweet spot. And if it ain't broken, test, test, and test again. Try to break it to make it better. Thanks for your time. Any of the uh, templates that I've uh, displayed, budget templates and things like that, uh, they're all available on my blog. So I invite you to go there and you can download them from my blog or find a link to them. And you can reach that at www.whatsaleadworth.com or uh, simply send me an email if you're on LinkedIn. You'll find me there, Mark Carrier, M-A-R-C-C-A-R-R-I-E-R-E. -R -R -E. Good luck and have fun. Bye-bye.